up in a blind face to what I'm putting up. Shawty said she put it up. In my line, I serve you, cause you know on the plot. In my line, I serve you, cause you know on the plot. Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be explaining the reason why I made the song that I just dropped the other day, and I'm gonna be showing you guys some behind the scenes clips. The reason why I made this song is because I noticed like nowadays like kids don't really go outside and stuff. Like I have a cousin that's like younger, he's like 12 or 13 now or something like that and all he does is play PS5 like all day, all night and I made this video to like make anybody want to like pretty much ride a bike or go skateboard or go do something that's productive you know and like fun and not just stay inside all day like go get some sun and stuff and like just go cruise around on a bike if it's a bike you know I, I know if I would have seen this video when I was younger and didn't know about being mixing or something I would like totally want to get a bike and stuff and that's that's like the real reason why I made this song right here when I was younger before I started being mixing I used to just ride around on like regular bikes and I used to know how to catwalk and stuff. And that's the reason why I put the catwalking in this video and I thought it was like pretty funny. I was a little rusty on the catwalks. Well, not really, I've been doing them like here and there, but it was kind of windy outside. I'm not trying to make like no excuses or anything, but like I do got a few clips right here of me trying to get the clip that I got that's in the video. <laughs> I put the catwalking in this video because when I was younger I used to like try to catwalk and stuff then I finally learned how to do it then like that's all I used to do and I feel like being a kid you know like if I was a type of person or not a type of person but like if I was the person to see the video that I just made and me being young like already doing like little catwalks and stuff and then getting opened up to seeing that you can actually do like real tricks on a bike I would like totally get into riding bikes because of that and that's like why I made this video and stuff the reason why I was saying give a fuck what you like in this song is because I'm the type of person that like I like to see people have a passion for something I don't care like what it is and that's the reason why I put this in this video like I'm the type of person that has like I have like literally all types of friends and stuff so like I mean like to really explain it like I have friends that grew up in like really good areas and I have friends that grew up in really bad areas and I never been the type of person to like really judge people for what they really like I actually like really like to like talk to people that have a passion and stuff for some reason I don't know why like I noticed like when when you ask somebody about their passion their eyes will like light up and their energy just lifts up and they just like you can just tell when somebody's really passionate about something and I think that that's really cool no matter what it is and that's the reason why I said give a fuck what you like in this song so don't get it twisted it's not like I don't give a fuck what you like in a way where it's like fuck you in a way and like it's not like that I didn't make that this song for anything like that at all I'm trying to keep positivity going in in everything I do so I'm not trying to down talk on nobody or just try to start anything with nobody i don't have no problems with nobody i just i'm just doing my own thing and i felt like i needed to explain that so people don't like get it twisted you know the reason why i um put the moonwalk in this video is because i thought it was funny and i struggled to like actually do the trick <laughs> Thank you. 
hey, if you got a passion, no matter what it is, hey, I think that's lit. Like, unless it's some weird shit, then, then I don't know. You're on your own on that one. Yeah, you know me. I'm just chilling over here in the cut. I got to slide because you look a little sketchy, bruh. One of my vatos, like, really does not talk much English. And he, um, he still tries and it's like, it's so hilarious to me. But, I mean, he, he does talk English, but it's just not like, he talks like a, a Spanish person that learned English, you know, and it's just, it's so hilarious to me. And I talk like a little bit of Spanish and he talks like a little bit of English. And like, we both try to explain to each other in our languages how you say certain things and bro i always end up like just cracking up with him he's he's hilarious if some of you guys are wondering why i always say something about god in all of my songs is because i gotta re represent the gang you know what i'm saying like god has done so much things for me in my life that just like blow my mind and a lot of people would try to make it seem like once you become a believer of God like that everything's just gonna become easy and it's really not like that like God really like puts you through a lot of tests and stuff and I've been through like a lot of things in life and like I just I feel so thankful of him like blessing me with the things that he's blessed me with that like I just feel like I have to like represent him you know and I I also do that for people that are like feeling lost out there and stuff and feeling like they have nobody they really do like there's always angels and stuff around you and stuff and like God is always watching you and that's another reason why I always talk about God in all of my songs is because I wanted to touch people that felt like they have nobody in a way like I don't know how to like fully explain it but like pretty much just help people see that God is really there and stuff and I I also make random skits and stuff of like churches and stuff and like I talk about God in my songs because I want people to like really give God a chance like I feel like when when people or like when you talk about God with anybody like they just like they totally cut off and they just shut down and they just like change the subject and stuff and I feel like what I'm doing will just kind of like help people to just have their own relationship with God and that's really all I'm trying to do you know and I feel like that's what's really most important is your own relationship with God they're really just they're really just people that like are guilty of stuff that they've done and those same types of people are like the type of people that like pretty much like if you do something bad around them they they like they treat you like, oh, you're going to hell or because you did something bad. But the reason why Jesus died for us is because he knew that we wouldn't be able to not sin. And that just like clears the point right there. It's not like you do one thing, you're going to you're going to go to hell. If it was really like that, then Jesus died for no reason. And I'm just trying to help people open up to having their own relationship with God because I know that a lot of Christians are just like they they like pretty much do stuff that pushes people away from God and I have my own relationship with God and God does not treat me how those people treat me like I'm really close with God and like he isn't how a lot of Christians make him seem is all I'm trying to help people see and wake up to and like understand that everybody makes mistakes and stuff as long as you don't keep on making those mistakes it's where God will like understand like even if you you are making mistakes and and 
you pretty much are trying to not make these mistakes god sees that he knows that he knows your heart and these people that go to churches and stuff they act like god isn't like that not everybody but there is a lot of people out there that just like they try to make it seem like if you do one thing that's bad you're gonna get burnt or something like god is just gonna send lightning down and just strike you and he's not like that he's very nice and he understands that we're not the only thing here on earth and we are battling more than we can see so if you notice that i put a lot of stuff about god in all my songs is because i'm just really like thankful for everything that he's done for me and the stuff that just he's taught me and showed me and just all types of things like man god is real god is the type of person that's like hey man here i'm gonna just bless you with this bless you with that and I'm gonna also teach you how to manage it and stuff. And I'm gonna keep these blessings coming as long as you keep trying to better yourself. And I feel like a lot of Christians don't like, they don't put that out there. Like they just, they just make people feel like going to church is what you gotta do to go to heaven and stuff. And it's not really like that. Like I feel like having your own relationship with God is what's really most important but this is just me talking but I, I'm just I'm doing what I felt like God is pushing me to do too on top of that like the reason why I do all this is because I feel like people needed something like this in this world like there's a lot of people out there that are they're like really going through it and they are lost and stuff and they they have like jealousy problems and all types of things that just really show that they don't have God in their life and I'm just trying to help people see the God that I know like not the stuff that people put out or Christians put out or people in churches put out you know like and a lot of those people are still sinning doing all types of things and stuff like crazy things and it's just something that I'm trying to just show people really like I feel like everything they do in church is just makes people like oh my gosh I don't want to do this I don't want to do that and stuff and I'm not trying to worship God because it's boring. And I'm just trying to show people that the God that I know is not like that. Like he is, he's nice, bro. Like he's, he's real. Like he's not like anybody you will ever meet. He has more than a pure heart. He is truly nice or forgiving and he just, I know that he really just wants a relationship with you. I, I know he doesn't really care if you go to church like that. Falling into the devil's traps is really just like falling into somebody that will scam you and pretty much take all your money for you helping them out. Like that's the type of person that the devil is. I know God knows more about what's going on in those churches than any of us do, so. I'm just explaining this type of stuff for anybody out there that just feels like they don't have a sense of way or just feels like empty inside. God will help you out with all of that stuff, like for real. I originally was going to get a bunch of people that like ride the, the big rippers and stuff, but I ended up not going out on the day that like everybody like met up and stuff to ride and I kind of missed out on that but while I was at the skate park that one day a few random riders pulled up and stuff and I did kind of want to like tell them to like get all lined up so I could stand in front of them and like get a clip like that but I didn't know anybody there, so I just felt like awkward and stuff. And I'm really not like the type of person that just goes talking to random people like that. Like, 
I'm actually a really quiet person. Unless I know you, then, I, then it's different. But, like, when I'm around people I don't know, I, I'm, like, really quiet. Like, I probably won't even really talk like that. And I just, I didn't feel right, like, going up to those random people and stuff and, like, asking them to get in the video with me and stuff. And I might have, like, some social anxiety, too. I don't know, though. But, like, I just feel like, I just don't really like talking to random people like that. I'm trying to change that though and like be open, be more open to people and stuff and I haven't really been working on it but I'll get to it. And um, if the person that I knew, like I know he knows like all the people that ride those big ripper bikes and if he was there, like I would have like just told him something like, yo, like can y'all can you get all your boys to line up like so i can get a, a clip for a video and it would have been way different but i didn't know anybody there so i didn't feel really right like going up to them and asking them to do that for me i try to give this video more of like a florida type of feel but like i feel like it came out like something where like it really looks like i'm somewhere in la or something or like San Diego. The clip that I got doing the Hang 5 talking to the camera, I flipped over. <laughs> One last thing I gotta say is follow your passions no matter what people say because if you really think about it, people are just gonna talk no matter what you do. So do what you like and do what makes you happy. That's it for this video. I have a BMX video coming next. Peace out guys.